Hey guys, as most of you know who have watched my last video, I went to the go-kart shop today to get all my stuff. And I showed you guys my clutch, but I haven't showed you the rest of the stuff I got. I got this sprocket holder and the sprocket, 6235 pitch. So that just goes right on there, and I just need to bolt that on there. And then I'll slip this on, and when I make up my shaft, um, or oh, I'm not going to make it, the guys... I'm going to see how hard it is to make a keyway when he makes it on the lathe. If it's going to be too hard, then I'll just weld this. But because this is aluminium, I think, I'm pretty sure it's aluminium. It could be chromed, but, um, yeah, I don't think so. Um, if, if it is aluminium, then my dad doesn't have the welder to weld aluminium, so we have to take it to one of his friends to weld it. So that might cost me a bit extra. So I'll hopefully the guy can make a keyway. Otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna have to um, weld it. Also, when he makes a keyway, I'll get thread on it as well as a keyway, so I can put two nuts on each side so it doesn't move, and then like lock tighter or whatever. And then I got some uh, a meter of chain, 35 pitch chain, and a link. The chain was actually pretty cheap. It's $14.50 for a meter, which is pretty good price. Comparing a bicycle chain is like 35 bucks or 40 bucks for about a meter. So it's pretty good, although this is a lot thinner, but still. Um So overall, it was $140. That's including the clutch, so the Clutch, a chain, sprocket, sprocket holder. The clutch was 65 bucks. It's a max torque clutch. Um, which, if I was in America right now, it'd be like 35 delivered. But, oh well, I'm not in Deli um, America. And with the financial crisis at the moment, if I got it from America and then got it delivered here, it would be like the same price or a little bit more. Because... Shipping, I don't know, shipping at the moment from America to Australia is just through the roof. It's like triple the price. And then, uh, yeah, the chain was $4.50. The link was $1.65. This um, hub was $29.65. And the sprocket was 30 If I went to a 56 tooth sprocket, which is almost a 5 to 1 ratio, then I would have got away with it for 25 bucks, but since uh, I got a 60 tooth, because when I um, update my motor, and then I will probably get a 12 tooth clutch, then I'll have a 5 to 1 ratio there, then I don't have to um, pay and get a new sprocket and yeah, all the other crap, so I only have to get a new clutch. So that works out fine. Five. 5.5 .5 to 1 ratio is what I'm going to be running and that will give me good acceleration and quite good top speed. Top speed is um, worked out to be about 35 kilometers. If I over rev the engine a little bit I might get about 40 kilometers out of it but 35 is about the normal speed but when you're off-road 35 kilometers I reckon is enough. You don't want to go too much faster because you'll be vibrating the crap out of it. And yeah, so that's the progress for today. I've got all my stuff. I just need to get a seat steering wheel and then um, a few little other things like bearings and make up the axle, of course. And yeah, so I won't have another update for quite a while because um, my dad's on holidays and he only comes to the factory a few times a week. So next week, I think, is the next time he's coming to the factory. So... That's when I'll be able to work on a bit more. I might be able to go there this week, depending if he comes down. But if not, then, yeah, it's going to take another week. And the next week I can get a lot done. And maybe it might take the end of next week to complete or the end of the next week after that, depending on, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's progress for today. See you later.